hello there beautiful people it's your boy investor black and i welcome you back to my channel in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you step by step how to create a new facebook naira prepaid ad account and how to fund it with any naira card without limits in the year 2022 so if you're out there and you're interested in creating a naira prepaid ad account on facebook then this video is for you i'm gonna walk you through the whole process in this video but before I go further, I would like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I love you guys so much. And if you're just joining in for the first time, my name is Investor Black and I make my money online. I make videos about affiliate marketing, web development, freelancing, network marketing, and digital marketing in general. I also make videos about email marketing. I make videos about everything that it takes for you to actually make money online because those are the things I learned during my um journey and i'm willing to share that i also share my progress as we proceed so if you're just joining in or you, you're seeing this channel for the first time do well to hit this subscribe button right here and also hit this bell notification icon and click on this button that says all so that you'll be the first to know when i drop an update my updates are usually very sensitive so if you if you get them um late you're not gonna be happy because a lot of people would have already used those updates and maybe it would have gotten saturated right also if you stick around to the end of this video i'm gonna be sharing with you another way you can actually start making nothing less than 300k every single month using this facebook account that you're going facebook ad account that you just created right so stick around with this video it's not a long video so don't bother about skipping any part because i'm not here to waste your time right so having said that let's delve right into it so the first thing you need to know are the steps so what are the steps okay the first step is to create a facebook um, account so if you already don't have a facebook account all you have to do is go to fb.com and create a facebook account using your details after you must have done that the next thing you need to do is to create a facebook business page okay one thing is having a facebook account and another thing is having a facebook business page a business page into um gives you access to a lot of business tools like adverts and the rest and some analytics right so to do that all you have to do is head over to your browser and, and go to business.facebook.com so once you go to business.facebook.com it's going to take you to a page where you're going to be able to create a new business right as you can see i already have one here and i already have like a few here so all i have to do now is click on this button that says create a business but as you can see mine is grayed out because i've already exhausted um my limit right but for you you're gonna see this button and you're gonna be able to click it and they're gonna ask you for your business details your business address and all all you have to do is click on create and give them the information and your business is created once you're able to do that and you have a business just like the one you're seeing right here so for this purpose i'm going to be using this particular one so once you already have a business the next thing you need to do is to click on the menu button that the last um, bootstrap menu as you can see here that says all tools so once you click on all tools it's going to take you to a window pop-up where you're going to see a lot of menu options okay what i want you to do now is to click on this button that says billing once you click on billing it's going to take you to your billing option and your payment um settings right so as you can see we are in the billing page and you can see that my balance is already um in usd and you can see outstanding balance meaning that the 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 they charge me even when i have not paid so i have to pay for what is already happening and that is why you need a prepaid account so to to swap from a prepaid account if yours is like this already and you want to swap to a naira i want to be able to pay in naira and not dollar because if i should click on pay now um let me just show you real quick if i should click on pay now you're going to see that the options that i'm going to be having access to is uh, mastercard debit card and the rest as you can see there's nothing like pay with naira right here rather i'm going to be paying with paper and some other um options which is not what we want right we want to be able to pay with naira so to do that you have to go to this place that says payment settings once you click on payment settings it's going to show you another page where you can actually modify your payment details right so once you're here the next thing you need to do is scroll down to the bottom all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see this place that says business info and all you have to do is click on this button that said edit once you click on edit it's going to take you to another pop-up where you're going to be able to modify your business information you can put your business name um you can change everything so what the things you're going to be changing 
it's not necessarily this business name you can leave it at the business name you already have all you have to do is click on this place that says country and, and change it to nigeria if you, you, you're using another country then currency change it to us dollars um to um, nigerian naira pardon me so i'm going to change this to nigerian naira then once you've done that the next one you need to do is to change your time zone to gmt plus one um nigerian time okay so i'm going to just do that real quick so i'm going to scroll down till i see our time which is this one that says lagos time so i'm going to click on that then i've already added my name which is not really necessary the next thing you want to do is to click on yes i'm buying as for business purposes uh, you click on save once you click on save it's going to take you to where you have to so as you update your currency on time, so it requires a new ad account. As you can see, once you click on continue, they are going to create a, an ad account that is in Naira. Okay, that is in Naira. So if you watch closely, I can't update my info simply because I've exhausted my account. Okay, so I can't create more accounts. That is why this is showing. But for you, you will be able to create a separate Naira account that is a prepaid account. I've already done created an account, so I'm going to just quickly show you how to fund it so i'm going to just switch to my other account that is a naira prepaid account so by this time you would have been seeing that you have already created a naira prepaid account so i'm going to click on this other account that says investor black then it's going to take me to my naira prepaid account as you can see instead of um, um outstanding um, balance you're going to be seeing prepaid funds okay and you're going to be seeing some options like add funds add payment method edit so the, what you need to do is click on this button that says add funds. Once you click on add funds, it's going to take you to where you have to add funds. Okay, as you can see, there are just two options here, which is debit or credit card. And the second one is Naira, Naira payment with MasterCard or Visa card. And this is the one that you are going to pick. Then you put in the amount that you want to um, fund here. Remember, you, you did not link the card. You are just adding funds from a random card that is in your name. So I'm going to click on add funds. Once you click on add funds, it's going to take you to another page where you are going to click on continue. Once you click on continue, they're going to ask you for your card details, like your card name and stuff like that, your card number, um, expiry date and stuff like that. Once you click on that, once you fill this form, I click on pay, they're going to ask you for your OTP and boom, you would have funded your Naira prepaid account. Now the big question is, why do you really want to fund your Naira prepaid account? I'm going to give you two reasons why you want to fund your Naira prepaid account. The first one is obviously running ads. And the second one is um, doing um, selling ad credit in form of arbitrage. I know a lot of people don't know that you can actually sell your ad credit. And to do that is quite simple. All you have to do is go to your ad account. So I'm going to click on this button right here. So I'm going to go to um, my ads manager as you can see here. Let's click on settings right as you can see so once you go to ad manager the next thing you need to do is to click on settings once you click on settings you're going to see where you can actually add people as you can see i'm the only one managing my account but you can add more persons you can click on the person's facebook id search for the persons like g i should search for g or something I can actually add people's email addresses and just click on add. Once you add that person, the person will have access to your ad account um, credit, right? Now, all the person has to do, the person has to be someone um, from another country. The person has to send you the equivalent fund. So if the person wants to fund with like $100, the person is going to send you 100 USDT via Binance um, Pay, right? And once the person sends 100 USDT, you're going to sell that 100 USDT to uh, in the binance p to on the binance p to p section for 700 right once you sell that for 700 you're going to be having 70k 70,000 naira and obviously facebook is not going to charge you um the same uh, rate at which you sold it facebook is going to charge you for less naira to a dollar right so if you go to google right now and do one usd to ngn right i click enter it's going to show you the current rate and this is similar to what facebook is going to charge you probably facebook is going to charge you about 500 for it because they are obviously going to want to make profit but it's not going to be up to that 700 that buy that you're going to be selling it for on binance so basically let's say for example you 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 sell your let's say for example you sell your ad for about um 700 and you're buying for 500 so you're gonna it's gonna be 
70,000 Naira minus 50,000 Naira, right? So you're going to be making a profit of 20,000. You're going to be keeping 20,000 Naira and you're going to be funding Facebook with 50,000 Naira and your partner abroad is going to have um, add credit worth 50,000 Naira, which is equivalent to the 100,000 Naira, 100 dollars he sent you via um, Binance. And that's basically how you can make a lot of money using your Facebook ad account. If you need more info about this, all you have to do is click on the video that's going to pop up right now. And that video is going to actually explain more about this update to you. I hope this video has been helpful, guys. Have a nice day and I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Go and subscribe. Click on this button and click on the bell notification icon. Have a nice day, guys, and I love you. Bye.